Oh god. Sounds horrible as doing that. Where did I go? She's still holding strong. I have to go through another bucket to break her. She's still holding up. Are you out? I'm gonna go rip her as hard as I can. Nothing. Think I can do it? It's cracked all the way up to here. Yeah, no, I couldn't. I could probably do this, thing, but no, I can't find a break over here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to break it too. Probably will. <laughs> Yeah, I broke like a, I broke a metal one before. Oh, that sounds bad. It's starting to poke out. Oh my god. I think it like popped out for a second on the swing. I think this part like came out. Is it about to break? It's about to It's popped out. Might be the one that shadows it? Yeah, sure. Okay, alright. Let's switch. I'll go get an extra bucket if you want me to. Yeah, just keep your hand on the swivel. I, I'm pretty sure I like hit the ball. God, that sounds so bad. I feel like I'm getting better pop out of it while it's broken. Keep going, slowly, surely. No, not quite. Oh my God. <laughs> crack's gaining. It's a, so the crack is all the way up to about here. So we gotta get her up to about here where it'll break off finally. Oh, I swung too hard and I whiffed. Come on, break. Trying. <laughs> I dipped it. I thought I was actually gonna hit it for a second. <sighs> I'm trying to juice it. And I'm just whipping it. Oh, come on. I'm ashamed of myself. Let's get a better odd to break. I don't know if she's actually gonna break or not. That Bring the bucket down. Popping out a bit.
<laughs> all the way to school. Oh yeah. I finally said screw it and just broke that thing. Smacked it against the ground as hard as I could. RIP wood bat. Uh, yeah, so we just got on hitting and no idea what I'm gonna do next. If you don't see anything after this, then yeah, I did nothing. So let's go see what I'm gonna go do. Alright, so I end up this time going out fishing out in this random pond that's not even close to my house, but close to where I was playing ball at. So we're gonna go out there. It's about, uh, I got it, we know, almost eight o'clock. Fish till the sun goes down. Or is that seven or eight on my clock? I don't know, I can't see it too much clear. Yeah, sun's going down. We're gonna fish till it's completely down and then head on back home. All right, I got no idea if this sounds good because the window's open and it probably does. So, but just got done fishing. Took about like, 12, 13 casts and the sun started to go down. Caught a pretty nice stick. <laughs> Didn't get anything other than a stick. Uh, why are these kids just chilling on the side of the road? That's sketchy. <laughs> but, yeah, I just got finished fishing and probably gotta go get food somewhere and head home. Probably end this whole thing when I get there. So, I don't know, even as I'm way home. Probably McDonald's. I think that's really the only thing left to go get. Everywhere else is closed because this whole thing that we're going through. So I'm gonna get some food. Yeah. All right. So I just got food. Cause now this is why I cannot talk. So I just got some food and I just went to Burger King. Just why not? I wanted to try their nuggets. Never had them. They're only a dollar. So got nuggets. It took about 20 minutes just waiting in line. There's only like five cars there. And I've realized Burger King has some of the worst nuggets I've ever eaten. They're, yeah, they're just not good. But I know they're for a dollar. What can I really expect? So we're heading home now probably about 15 minutes away in the piece of crap Pacifica that squeaks every time you break, turn, and you hear a giant thud whenever you break or accelerate. Hopefully I actually make it back. This car is not yet completely failed on me, but it's bound to happen soon or the engine's gonna fall out, one of the two. So hopefully none of that happens today and let's see if I can get home without this thing breaking. All right. Going on the interstate in a second, but I just want to show you guys how bad this car sounds. So let's hop on here and you will hear the engine just clunk. Squeaking, and here we go. Shift. 
it's not shifting out there. Oh, damn, it didn't clone. Didn't want to shift, but didn't clone. I'll see you at some other point if I can get her to clone, but not in the interstate, so. But if we get in there, she's shaking. You can definitely feel her shaking. And this guy is riding my tail. So, not like the sound of this car. All right, Rex in the interstate. Let's see if we can get her clunk. She still clunk when it break, and I'm holding the phone down here just because there is a cop like right next to me, and I do not want to get pulled over for being on my phone, even though I'm just taking a video. Oh, there's an ambulance there too. Oh, yeah, that's an ambulance. All right, let's see if we can get her clunk. Uh, I don't know if we can do it, but hold on a second. She's shaking a little bit. Didn't clunk there, but definitely one a second. There's that clunk. There should be one more. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how well the audio picked up on that. But yeah, first, second, and third gear, you get a clunk just about every single gear. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but I mean, she still runs, so that's a pro. All right, let's try to get another clunk here at a stoplight. I'll probably get some squeaking and clunking here. Turn left. Come on, turn green. There's no, okay, thank you. <laughs> Bit of squeaking. Ah, uh, I shouldn't got clunk again. Yeah, but this car, it's so beat up. I don't think there's basically anything holding in the engine anymore, because that clunking here is the engine, moving around the engine bay. Then the shaking, I don't know what that is. Holy crap, dude, get off my tail. Jeez. Um, I don't know exactly what the shaking is. I, I, I do auto body stuff. I work on the outside of cars. I rarely ever work on the inside of them. But yeah, so you got the engine basically held in by just about nothing. And then you got the suspension. I, I believe it's suspension. It squeaks like a turkey. Like, it sounds like it's a turkey making some noises. It's, it sounds horrible. But if I go ripping through a cornfield, hey, I might get a flock out. Who knows? Take this thing hunting with me. Oh, tight turn. Yeah, that's just bad. This car's probably 2008, maybe. It's not in good condition, even though we've treated it pretty good. But this thing is just falling apart. I mean, rust is all over the frame of this thing. That's what you get when you live in Iowa. All that sand and sand and salt and stuff like that kicking up from when it was winter. All that just water sitting on it. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. And, oh, I'm speeding and there's a cop. I was going about 15 over. I was going 15 over and this dude's still on my tail. Can you back off, please, dude? Like, jeez. I hate people driving in Iowa. I really hate Iowa overall, but I love it at the same time. All we got is corn, basically. In town, we got nothing to do. But, cornfields are fun. You go mudding, basically anywhere out of town. Uh, you get a deal with guys chilling about eight inches from your bumper, like this guy's currently doing to me. Yeah, it's just great, but you hate it, but you love it at the same time. You never really know which one you want to do with it, leave or stay. I mean, I'm probably leaving, but who knows. So I just got home. It wasn't very eventful today, but um, we did some stuff. It was fun. I just got a vacation for the holidays. But, yeah, I don't know how often I'm going to do this, but, I mean, we'll find out. So, I'll see you later.